Hi and welcome to the brand new video in Home Assistant How To series. Today we are going to play with the panels and iframes. So let's get started in 10 seconds. What are the panel iframes? If you have seen pictures of the Home Assistant running on Hasayo, you have seen that there are a lot of additional buttons or icons and text on this right side and those are the links to various components that we have already installed in Docker images in previous weeks. So today we will add a couple of links to those Docker images or Docker applications inside our Home Assistant so it's easier for us to control them. For today we will be adding two links but of course you can add your own. We will be adding ESP Home and Node-RED. In order to add that, we have to go back to the Synology. In Synology, we will open File Station, Home Assistant, Configuration, and at the bottom of this file, we will be adding command to load panel, panel iframes. So it's panel iframe. First panel we will be adding, or first iframe we will be adding, is ESP Home. So we will name it ESP Home. We will give it a title. Title will be ESP Home. URL It's HTTP, our address of the Synology server. And the port for the ESP Home, and that port is 6052. Next thing we will define is the icon, so it's icon. We will be using material design icons, and for ESP Home, uh, I will be using Raspberry Pi icon. You can go to the material design website, I will post the link down below. If you still haven't checked that website, please do. They are a great source for the icons. The level of design is superb. This is it. Next component we want to add is Node-RED. Title will be Node-RED. And of course now we will have to type in the URL. URL is HTTP and our IP address of the Synology server and default port is 1880. Let's give it an icon. Icon will be MDI, uh, MDI sitemap. This icon reminds me of the flow or uh, nodes connected in the node red. Let's save this. Let's now go back into the Home Assistant. Configuration, server control, check configuration. And now let's restart the server. Okay. And on the left side, you can see those two icons and the links we added. So first one is for the ESP home and it's working. And the next one is for the Node-RED and it's working. You can of course add your own links. Please bear in mind that if you will be adding Grafana links, uh, Grafana doesn't like to be embedded in this way. You have to make a share in the Grafana and then you can choose embedded link where you get a specific link that you can then post it inside the configuration file and have it uh, uh, listed here. Thank you for watching once again Home Assistant How To with Bearded Tinker. I hope you enjoyed this quick and brief episode. If you like this video, please give me a thumbs up. If you still haven't subscribed, please subscribe and hit the bell button so you get notified. If you have a wish on something you want to see in our next episode of the Home Assistant How To, uh, please leave it down in the comment section and I will be seeing you next time. Until then, bye bye and have fun!